H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Okay. So, it's very plain and simple. Uh, you, I come back to the read write to dat file so we're going to see what it is okay now i whenever i create a person here i say uh, the name profession and the place so name profession and the place let's say concord okay now oh what next let me comment out a couple of other things okay uh, this is very plain and simple. We have already seen in a lot of other examples, creating a person object and uh, doing something with it, whatnot, creating, uh, invoking some APIs. So this is what a very plain and simple thing which we have already seen. But now what we are going to see is, I want to store the complete object in a file system. Okay, that's what we are going to see it here, right? Now, how do we do that? Uh, for that reason, again, we have got a couple of other APIs also. Okay. The very first thing is uh, I'll be using a file output stream. So when I say file output stream, that means I want to write something to a file. Okay. So here uh, the file output stream is nothing but your, let's say, jeram dot that. Okay. And on top of that, I'll be using an object output stream. So what this is going to do is because I want to store this particular object in a file system. So for that reason, I need some APIs which has already been developed that that particular class is your object output stream okay now if you see here first I'm getting the handle of your file output stream I can even do it in two lines I can just say file output stream of file output stream okay and even I can pass on this particular thing to this constructor. Okay, so this is a two-way process. Even I can do it in a single line also. Okay. Now I have got the whole and uh, okay. Now if you see here, uh, file output stream, it takes uh, your string. It even takes a file also. I can even make this as a three-line code. So I can even say file file equals to new file, and I can even pass the file to the file output stream constructor. Okay. So I'm using a file output stream and if you see all the classes which I'm using is under your java.io package. Okay, So it is very important to import those packages. So I'm using a file output stream and uh, I'm just keeping the, I'm using file output stream and this passing the file output stream to the object output stream. Okay, And at last I have got a hold of a particular object or a reference with the help of that I can basically write something to the output okay now what is my output my output is nothing but your jeram.dat so nowhere does jeram.dat is present in my physical location i'm going to create it right now okay now i'm just using this object i have already created this object saying that uh, person uh, pr equals to new person so ultimately what happens when you run this program an object gets created in the memory the same object i want to persist that in the database sorry not in the database in a file Okay, usually what happens whenever you create a person, you persist those information in a database. But here, I do not want to use any database. Okay, I just want to use a file system to store my details. Now, for that reason, I already have the object out, uh, output stream object. So on that, there is an API that is your write object. Okay, so when I say API, there is already a predefined method. You just need to use that method. So when I say write object and just pass on that particular object, that's all my work is done okay and let me for now comment out all these things okay now let me run this program and see what all things i'm going to store that in the 
where so this belongs to this one and i'm using an output stream this output stream is nothing but this and this output stream sorry object output stream is using a file output stream and ultimately your file name is your jerem.dat so right click run as java application okay now the very first and foremost thing which you have to understand here is whenever you want to store an object in a file system or send your object across the network so when i say across the network okay when we talk about your advanced java courses we'll learn something more about that okay so in that case your file the file which you are trying to store should be serialized okay uh i got something like not serializable exception which was this particular class right now what i have to say is explicitly i have to say now here i'm saying it is a class no doubt but explicitly i have to say that this particular class is capable of serializing uh, is capable of serializing itself now what is serializing that means storing the state of an information state storing the state of an object into some kind of persistent storage okay now here i just need to say implements serializable interface okay copy this paste it out here i m p l e m e n t s okay so when i say this class it implements a serializable interface now let us just go and see what is there in your serializable interface okay nothing is there in your serializable interface now till date we have always spoken about that uh whenever you have an interface you need to have some methods in it yes no can i just uh, uh get an understanding from the class can you just type in yes or no i got only one yes from rashmi thank you i i, I request everyone to just type in okay all right i yes is getting popped up right now now why this particular interface is not having any kind of methods in it okay uh it is something like uh, you whenever you let's say you are you are you are you are uh, you are not a biker okay or let's say let's not even talk about that example you are basically reading something and uh, it's a very important book and in that particular book you whenever you read something anything important you basically strike it out saying that okay this is very important or you just mark uh, mark it as a very important point so the, so that next time when you come you know that okay this is a very important point so why that why is that important because you have read with your experience and you are just marking that as a very important point over there okay the same way uh what i'm saying is this particular person as it is implementing a serializable interface this is capable of persisting its state in a file system okay that means your 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 uh, your virtual machine is going to treat this as a special object because this object could be serialized okay now why whenever in java just remember one thing in java whenever uh, you have a interface without having a method you say those kind of method interfaces as marker interfaces okay so those kind of inter interfaces are marker interfaces so if i type in out here uh interfaces without any methods are known as marker interfaces okay now marker interfaces are just to tell that to the to the virtual machine that okay this guy this guy is actually eligible for persisting its state in the in a persistent storage okay now let me again run the same program here as i have uh, made that particular class as serializable i will run this program right now right click run as java application so something uh, got written and uh, okay so this is getting printed no doubt Will let me even remove this. Okay, so let us refresh this uh, module and see something got created here. That is a jerem.dat. If I open this, 
I see something in the form of your uh, byte streams out here, I, which I don't understand. Couple of things I understand, but ultimately do not understand this file. Okay. Now, what does this file con contains basically? This file contains the information about me. It says what is the profession, what uh, what is the name, which place it is. I can see all those things, but uh, it is it is pretty much hard to understand. Okay. Irrespective of whether it is hard to understand or not, I have stored an information of a person in a dat file. Okay. I copy this, paste it in my desktop. Okay. Where it is. Okay. So somewhere it, it got persisted. So what do you do? You, uh, you can ship this or you can send this information to your friends or you can store it in, uh, store it in anywhere, right? So, so, so that after one year you come back and uh, you want to read the same data, same information. Okay, Jeram, there was a there was a uh, tutor as Jeram and uh, he he was tutoring us and what is his behavior? Okay, so if I just uh, send across an email to ask uh, my behavior to all your folks, then I'm not I'm sure you guys are going to give me some good feedbacks or some bad feedbacks also, right? Okay, so that's a different case. So here in this case, I want to store some information. To an external storage okay that's what i did here so this is my external storage here okay after one year i come back i want to read uh, some information so again in order to read some information i can even comment this out and uncomment or the other functionalities okay so this is my bunch of apis with the help of which i can read the data okay so how do i do that again i have to say input stream I have used object output stream. Now I'm using our object input stream. That means I'm going to read something from the output. Okay. So read something from the file. Now, what is that file? Jeram.dat. I can even give the complete uh, path of the uh, path of the file. So here ultimately I'm getting the reference of your object input stream. With the help of that, I just say, just say read object. So when I say read object, if you see here, the read object is nothing but it is going to give you an object out here. And if we remember, or if everybody remembers, usually whenever you have anything apart from object, you can very well cast that particular object to your particular class type. That's what I'm trying to do here. Because when I read a person, I want to print a couple of information about that person. Okay. Now what are those informations? Informations are nothing but what is the name of the person, what is the place of the person, what is the profession of the person. So everything is commented out. Okay, so nothing is out here. I'm just trying to read this. So I can read multiple times. There's no restrictions so run as Java application. So whenever I read, I know that I have stored this information using my name, Jera Concord Software. So the same thing keeps popping up all the time. Okay, pretty plain and simple out here. Okay. Uh, now, one more important concept to understand out here. Okay, so let me do all these things in this way. Okay, so this is your original program, wherein the thing what you read, uh, the thing what you write, the same thing you read. Okay, you read it over here. All right, if I just run this in a single stretch, run as Java application, I can uh, say before. So this is what says before, uh, before I'm just trying to print that object. After also, I'm just trying to print that object. Okay. If, uh, I've, if you want to create a different object, uh, you can create that and you can give a different file name. So you can uh, store the information in a different dat file. So depending on each person, you might be having different dat files also. Okay. So ultimately you're storing the state of an object to a persistent file. So in the, with the help of the file, you're basically persisting the state of a particular object. Okay. Uh, all right. Now, the important concept right here is you have a person, no doubt I executed this program. So if I delete this pro, uh, dat file right now, I right click run as Java application executed this program, no doubt. My dat file got created here, no doubt, right? I copy this dat file, keep it in my physical location, put that in my Google Drive, whatever the thing, I come back after one year, okay? I want to re-execute my program. But in the meantime, 
a new developer okay i had got some enhancements in that i'm saying that whenever you create a person uh create a person okay leave that okay uh i want to do some changes to the okay let us even don't even talk about that let me delete this and recreate the stuff again okay so just think freshly i am creating this file right click run as java application so i created something out here and ultimately my dat file got created so this is my dat file if i want i can just change the name as new york so run this application so at this point of time as i am only interested in the writing this i am not even concerned about reading the data so right click run as uh, java application right so i wrote something to the dat file so if you just refresh this open this you see something like new york okay i'm not even interested in that at this point of time i saved the information okay now uh, as i said i i go go back for vacation and come back and i want to again execute the same program but in the same time if as you know i keep on checking in the file and you take the latest of the file and see that uh, something got changed in your person class now what is that change let's say i want to override the two string method because if you see here i have when the moment i printed this person right in the in this particular program per sorry per out here it is giving me in the form of some object and your exact is decimal representation representation of your memory location which is not acceptable for me so i want to print some in, uh, meaningful information i know that if i want to override the two string method i can very well do that so here in this case i'm just going to say here return uh name equals to name plus profession equals to profession right so i did some changes right because uh now the, before before even uh writing this okay the the weight of this particular program was a uh, uh, 2 kilo right now i added something out here okay now it has got it has become 2 and 1/2 kilo right so the weight has increased because i added some extra apis right now something has been changed in this file right so obviously there are some changes which are going to be happened down the line also let me at this point of time let me go back to my this program okay my writing is done i have already wrote my particular program in a particular state and i want to read that object now so let us go back okay sorry guys i have to do one more thing out here okay so i'm going to delete all these things and i'm going to do it from the beginning okay so go back okay i had to comment out couple of other things also so in this to this again i'm regenerating the file so in this case i'm just going to say jaram raut right click run as java application so the file got generated very well okay so something got generated and it is jaram raut out here now i go back to the same class and uh, override my two string method okay so something got changed in my file go back i don't want to uh, write anything i just want to read something right now so go back here and right now execute this program okay in the previous case whenever i used to execute this program it was running up and down up it was up and running without any issues so let's see what's going to happen right now run as java application now when i say run as java application what do you see here it says invalid class exception okay incompatible incompatible stream class so and so it's it is talking something about your serial version uid all right now what happens basically is every class by default it will get a serial version uid all right and uh, this the the file which you have even stored when it is when it when the virtual machine or it's trying to read it it is trying to give a default serial version uid to it also okay now at that point of time it is basically clashing saying that the 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 object which you are reading which you are converting to a particular person 
this person is not compatible with the person which you have stored in the dat file because in the dat file i have stored the state of a person without the to string method it is not about an api any changes you do it okay now in order to get rid of that what i'm going to do is if you see you are going to get some kind of some some suggestions out here so it says serial class person does not declare a static final serial version uid click on this and just say add generate generated serial version uid or the default serial version uid okay so what i did is i just uh, use the generated serial version uid which is in that of the type your long okay so it is a generated file depending on uh, what that file is how many apis are there so internally it is going to generate a serial version uid for a particular class okay let us do the same operation again go back to my read write dat file and at this point of time uh, let me again delete this okay now again execute this program that is what i'm trying to write something to the program here okay so i don't need this because i'm not interested in to read anything i just i'm just interested in writing something right click run as java application so i wrote something ultimately refresh this so i know this dat file is going to contain the data which i have written here right go back to the person here and just overwrite the to string method here So I added a new method out here, which is not even present in your file, which I have stored it. Okay. Come back and comment this out, and then read this particular file again. Right-click, run as Java application. It still says incompatible stream version UID local class. Did I not add that version ID? One sec. Uh, uh, um, okay. Okay. Sorry. I'm supposed to use Jaram Roth. Okay. Now see here. This is incompatible because the one which I stored with Jaram, it didn't had the two string method or anything as such. Now if I'm just going to use the same file out here, right click, run as our application. I have no problems right now because. i am using a serial version uid the moment you read this file it compares the serial version uid which is present in your dat file as well as the serial version uid which is present in your actual file now whenever the serial version uid is matching it will not cause any kind of runtime error to you okay this is very important to understand uh, because you will see in most of the places they will be using the serial version uid this is nothing but to make sure that there is no incompatibility with the class so when you talk about incompatibility that means something has been changed in the new file but still you have some old reference old object uh, persisted in the database or let's say persistent uh, persisted in the dat file you are trying to match up those two which will obviously throw you some kind of exceptions okay now uh next point is i'll just take few few more minutes out here you want to see the jeram route dot dat you can see it out here okay there's nothing which you can understand basically right now uh i don't want to store the state of the prof uh, i mean i when i stored this information name place and profession i don't want to store the profession out here okay or let's say i want to say private uh int ssn okay now whenever i create a person i can even create a person with the ssn also Okay. Now I just use this SSN uh, to do some behavior in my in in my particular program. Okay, I don't want to really store this particular SSN information in my dat file. Okay, but if I run this uh, app program right now, let's say I want to run this program. I 
and in case I'm just going to give something like one, two, three, four, five. So I created a, created a person with the name, profession, uh, place, and the SSN also. Okay. If I run this program, let me even create a setter indicator for this. Run as our application. Sorry. Source uh, generate getter and setter. Okay. So I created the gen uh, getters and setters for the SSN also. Come back here, do this stuff. Okay. Uh, go back now, and I can just say comma sorry plus per read dot get SSN. Okay. Now, if I just run this program, right click run as Java application, um, give some spaces. Okay. I, I wrote the state when I created this, ultimately the state got persisted to the dat file that is your jerem.dat, jerem.dat. And in this program, you are basically reading the SSN out here also. But you do not want to persist the state of your SSN in the in the dat file at all. So what do you do in that case? You have no control at this point of time what to do next. Okay. But still you want this particular variable. Okay. In that case, what you can do is you can make this variable as transient. Now let us go back and run the same program. Right click run as Java application. Okay. Now, if you see, if you do not, if you specify that particular variable as transient, the state does not even get stored in the database. Okay. You just see it as zero. If it is an object, you see it as a null. If you see, I'm going to make this also as transient. Okay. Right click run as a Java application. Now at this point of time, you see the, what was that? Uh, the profession as null because I have made that particular variable as transient. Okay. So it is again very important to understand this. If you do not want to stay, uh, save the state of a particular state uh, of a particular object or state, uh, a variable of a particular object in the, in the st persistent storage, make that particular variable as transient. Okay. Any questions? Uh, so this is all which I had in your input and output operations. There are a lot of other bunch of APIs. So you can still use it. Okay. So as of now, I just gave you the basic idea. This is not even the basic idea. This is what you basically use it in your real time also. Okay. Any questions, folks? Is there anyone who is speaking and I'm not able to hear it? Hang on, there is some problem. Can you speak now? Yes. There are 13 other callers on the call. Right. Uh, Lydia, can you speak up right now? I still do not hear you guys. Uh, yeah, Madhu, that's what I did uh, out here. Uh, this significance of your civil version UID is whenever you try to store an object and uh, in the meantime, after storing the object, when you do some manipulation in the class, okay? So this class, in order to make your, the make the class which has already been stored in the persistent, uh, persistent uh, file and the file which you have right now in your code does not basically conflict. Okay, for that reason, 
I cannot hear you. Can't hear. Oh, mm. Hello, you're, you're able to hear me now? Yes, okay. Yeah, the main concept, there was a question, what is the significance of a secret version you made? Okay. Now, as you see, uh, we have stored some information in the database, or oh, sorry, in a in a DAT file. Now, after, after storing the information in the DAT file, you do some modification to the existing person. Okay. There are a lot of other modification has been done. Now, the file which, uh, the state of the person which has been stored in your that file is different than the than the actual class which is present in your java code to make sure that both does not have any incompatibility issue you basically give a unique uh, name to a particular file okay so when that is your serial version uid okay so when you give a unique id to a file even the file which gets persisted to your that file it gets persisted with your serial version uid and you do any changes with your uh, Java file, the way we have done a lot of other changes. Okay. But ultimately, whenever you try to do a read out here, okay, when you say read object, internally it is going to check for your serial version. So not internally, sorry. When you say read object and when you try to cast this particular object to a particular person, so this person at that point of time during runtime itself, it is going to check the serial version UID of those two classes. Okay. If those two classes matches, then there won't be any runtime issues. Okay, if you do not have the serial version UID and if you make any changes to your uh, Java file, then you will be having clashes there. Okay, all right, folks, uh, thank you. Uh, if there are any questions, uh, just note down the questions and we can discuss later as well. If not, I will, I'll be checking in these files. I request you guys to please. Uh, uh, try to read some files, write something to the uh, to the output stream, and do these kind of exercises. Okay, see you guys tomorrow. Thank you. H two K emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com.